In this video, we're going to cover a prefix, an infix, and a suffix that usually occur together and whose meaning are similar. These don't make for a complicated construction, but understanding them and knowing how they work will increase your active column vocabulary and improve your ability to figure out new words that you haven't seen before. Here are the model sentences. I get scared. Sightsee. Sightsee. Be afraid. A sightsee. A sightsee. Wake in. What? What? Be between. What? What? Get hurt. 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 Be hurt. 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 Number three, grow. Shall we? Shall we? Grown up. Shall we? Shall we? Help someone. Quinn on it. Quinn on it. Help support. Quinn on it. Quinn on it. Number four, burn. Chuck. Chuck. On fire. Chuck. first pair has the first state of us prefix. The second pair has the resultative a infix. The third pair has the derivative bard l suffix. The fourth pair has the resultative a infix and the derivative bard l suffix. The third pair has the state of us prefix and the resultative a infix. The sixth pair has the state of us prefix and the derivative bard l suffix. And the final pair has all three. As you can see, the suffix is in red, the infix is in blue, and the suffix is bold. The state of prefix us marks a completed state. The first two models based on eat and eat and sight see get scared shows the basic state of meaning. Adding the us state of prefix gives a word that refers to a state of being. So eat uh, and a sijen refers to the state of having eaten, and a sightsee refers to the state of having gotten scared. The resultative is marked by a vowel change that can be thought of as an infix. In the second two models, the schwa of the stem is replaced by an a. This vowel change indicates a resultant state. In the models, be between, hwach, is the result of being wedged in, hwach. In the models, be between, watch, is a result of being wedged in, watch. And be hurt, hush, is a result of getting hurt, hush. The derivative is marked by the suffix barred l. This adds a meaning of duration. The situation or state lasts for some time. In the third set of models, shall we, grow, becomes shall we, grow up, which is a situation that is enduring. The root, the root of quanting it, help someone, doesn't occur alone, 
but with a derivative bar L suffix, it becomes quoting it. The derivative is marked by the barred L suffix. This adds a meaning of duration. The situation or state lasts for some time. In the third set of models, shall we grow becomes shall we grow up, which is a situation that is enduring. The root of the word quinang it, help someone, doesn't occur alone, but with the derivative barred L suffix, it becomes quinang it, which refers to a situation of support lasting some time. The fourth pair shows the resultative and derivative in combination. For example, the word chak on fire is the result of burning. Chak, that is the duration. The fifth pair shows that the state of combined with the resultative. For example, stunk, stunk, mixed in refers to a state that is the result of being mixed in. The sixth pair shows the stative with the resultative. For example, this hutch, dried or preserved, refers to a state that has duration. The seventh pair shows the stative, resultative, and derivative all in the same word. The example, is talk broken, is a complete state, is the result of breaking last some duration. The final model is hahak, remembered, has all three, but the resultative has a different form from the other models. In this case, the resultative is marked by reduplication rather than the vowel change. The first consonant and the vowel of the root word huk is combined, and the first vowel takes the stress, so huk becomes ha huk with the resultative. Schematically, your first consonant, your vowel, and your second consonant becomes so this is your consonant, your vowel, and second consonant. So this would be your consonant, accented vowel, consonant, schwa, and second consonant. There are two forms of the resultative, vowel change and reduplication. It is possible to predict which words will get which form. So there are two forms of the resultative, vowel change and reduplication. It is possible to predict which words will get which form. So if you look at the roots in the resultative in pairs two, four, five, and the first root of pair seven, chuck, kutch, tunk, quesh, and tuck. What do you think they have in common and what makes them different from the root of the last one, huck? So if you look at pairs two, four, and five, and the first root of pair seven, all have a stress schwa. The last one has a stress A, so the rule making the resultative is, if the stress vowel of the root is an accented schwa, change it to an accented A. If the stress vowel is not an accented schwa, apply the reduplication. There is a great similarity in the meaning of these three. Completed state with the us, resultative state with the accented A or reduplication, and the enduring state with the barred L suffix. They each refer to a different aspect of a state of being. Because of this similarity, they usually occur together. In fact, forms of these in model pair 1 through 6 are hard to find. Forms like these in the model pair number 7 are very common. And the last quinelli for this lesson. Quite.